so when I was I was influenced by a lot of music um, that was a little bit um, beyond my years in a sense. I had two older siblings, so whatever they did, I did. Um, so it was a lot of Dave Matthews, and Jack Johnson, and Incubus, and a lot of influences from my parent, you know, my mom, Billy Joel, and Elton John, and. Diana Ross and Diana Warwick and all. combination of influences. Yeah, yeah. so and she generations. she had a lot of the the Motown kind of influence, and then my brothers had a lot of that kind of Counting Crows, you know, that rock 90s. kind of '90s thing. Um, but great songwriters. Great songwriters, and I think that's the one thing that I was always attracted to was um, authentic music, something that I could really feel was authentic, mm -hmm. and something that had something to say. You know, and I listened to a lot of depressing music as a child, you know. I, I, I wouldn't say I was a depressed child, but I found that the, the slow and kind of depressing songs were the most comforting to me. So on stage, I, I'm it's very organic. A lot of times I just have um, uh, a girl named Ashley Mayetta. She comes in and does some harmonizing um, on all of my songs, which is just ear candy for me. I mean, it's just, I just love hearing her and it, it makes it more enjoyable for me to have um, her up there. So I, I take her around, drag her around all my shows and uh, that's a lot of fun. And um, I play with just, just a few musicians here and there, you know, sometimes it's Cajon, sometimes it's a guitarist, and uh, sometimes it's a full band. Um, for instance, I'm playing at Sadie, uh, Sadie Kitchen and Lounge on Wednesday in Hollywood, and that's going to be a, more or less a full band. Mm -hmm. so.